take a trip. Get the band back together. See moments as possibilities. Take a wrong turn. This is life. But life is so rarely this. So promise to do it again next year. Only in Minnesota. Live on the first pass. Nice. Center it, Darren. Center it, Darren. Now race it to it. Good. Switch. Aggressively jump out. Guard to guard. There's a term in horse racing. When a horse runs like two good races, they say that they think the horse will bounce on the next race. Two good practices. Are you going to bounce or are you going to have a good practice? Are you going to have another one? Three in a row? I hope so. I hope so. That's it. Let's go. Look up. Go! Practices have been fun to come to because we know we're gonna each and every day we're gonna come in and compete, and you know that's always fun. Practices, uh, you know, they're they're intense. They've been really intense, and I think that's a credit to you know guys like Andre and DeAndre and Mo, and and then the new guys for stepping up. The returners from last year are excited about building off of the year that we had last year, but I also think that our newcomers bring a whole lot of added dimensions uh, to our offense, to our defense bigger size, more athletic, and now it's just our job to blend them all together and get them ready to go for Louisville. New thing, you gotta take the ball out. You gotta take the ball out. Hey, there's a reason why we're working on closeouts. He's a great shooter. Get there. He's still the same fiery guy, still, still own you if you make a mistake, still clapping for you if you do something good, so I mean, I love playing for him and the way he acts, the way he coaches, everything he does is, is the reason why I love playing for him. I know everybody's tired today. Let's have an energetic, enthusiastic practice, all right? I don't want to have to come back. I know we want to say easier because I know he's just going to ramp up practices a little bit more, but yeah, I'd say it's a lot more comfortable. I feel like we have a year under our belt, we know what to expect, and uh, things are flowing pretty smoothly. Hold up. Are you gonna hit anybody? You're just gonna stare as the ball goes up in the air. Elliot, this is his turn. Get off the court. Here we go. We've had a great mixture of returning guys that are hungry and, and new guys that want to prove um, that you know they can make an impact in this team right away and, and help in any way possible. So the competition has been phenomenal. You know, I mean, we've got some returners certainly, but we've got four guys uh, who have no idea really what we're doing when it comes to just X's and O's and fundamental Y's, so we've got to teach those guys. It's been easier certainly than teaching 15 guys, but we still need to teach those four guys because they're going to have to contribute. How about you two guys communicate? Mo, you got first pass. Got almost a month before our first game. Going down. Get ready, it's time to play. Good. Finish it. Good. Good. It's got that feel. It's got that feel. Let's come back at 10. I won't let these guys be unenthusiastic. I'll get the music going. You'll be on your couch. You'll be watching. <laughs> get a drink. Get a drink. With any returners, um, you know, especially guys that are seniors, they know that every day is one less day they have to be part of this. Whether that's DeAndre, Andre, um, you know, whoever it is, those guys come every day with a sense of urgency. I think the biggest thing that we, we want to accomplish is just to come in, work hard, and at the end of the day, we'll have that peace of mind where we can look back and say, yo, we, we came in, we worked hard, we prepared to the best of our ability. All right, here we go. Watch that perfect. See that? 200. Set me up, set me up, set me up. Quick, quick, hit him. Walk me down, go, nice. We want to learn from, from what kept us out of the NCAA tournament last year. Um, you know, whether it was a home loss that we didn't see coming, whether it was you know, not going as far as we wanted to in the Big Ten tournament. Uh, we just want to be able to look at last year, learn from our mistakes, excited the way we finished, but just keep getting better.
Our expectations are just to compete at the highest level. You know, last year we put together a good stretch of basketball towards the end of the year. And uh, this year we just want to prolong that stretch, you know, play, compete and play at the highest level for a longer period of time. Hopefully that results in a, in a, in a good season. Winning an NIT championship, it was good, but that's not what we wake up dreaming about every single day. And, and our guys understand that and we've got to bring it. I mean, we had a top 10 strength schedule last year. We're opening up versus top 15 opponent this year, and we know the Big Ten will always be strong. So we've got to get ready, and we've got to strive for perfection with everything that we're doing. When I first heard that we were going to play uh, in Puerto Rico against Louisville, you know, excitement went straight to my mind. Uh, you know, I just really thought about it. It's another opportunity to play against a high-caliber team, a top-notch top team. Whether we win or lose the game, we just want to be able to show everyone that, you know, we're going to be a good team this year. We're going to be able to impose our will on some teams. Uh, we're going to find our team identity pretty quickly early on. Uh, and obviously playing against Coach Patino, uh, who knows our team probably better than anyone in the country, uh, will be a good test for us. Coach probably has a, a, bit of, a bit of a chip on his shoulder. He wants to win the game. And I'm, I know we all want to win the game for Coach because he has a lot to prove. And, you know, we want to show that we can compete at a high level. This is an opportunity to showcase that we have a good program, that we have good players, that we also have ex high expectations this year for ourselves. You know, to get that exposure, first day of college basketball on ESPN, primetime television certainly is huge. So we've got to be ready to go. It's gotten our players' attention. It'll bring great exposure for our program. But most importantly, we've got to go play a great team.